Look at all the hair on the floor. It looks like the bathtub after you shave your legs. Oh, Hector, you shaved your shoulders, huh, Hector? Sweep the floor, Concha. Hey, Mira, what's the matter with him? Chacha, let me tell you, baby, it's a big situation. What happened? Yesterday, she caught Hector in the bathroom with another woman. No, I mean, I bet she almost had a car like a rest. You sure that happened? I know what happened. Let me tell you. Last night, I stood over Daisy's house, mm -hmm. and Cancho told Maritza, and Maritza told Lucy, and Lucy told Pablo, and Pablo told Pepe, and Pepe told Cuca, and Cuca told Crazy Legs, and Crazy Legs told Mato, and Mato told Lefty, and Lefty told Shorty, and Shorty told Pepe, and Pepe told Saul, and Saul told me, baby. So you know it's a fact. I know it. I know it's a fact. I told you to sweep the floor. Why don't you ask that pendeja I caught you with to sweep the floor, huh? Oh, my little pastelillo. It was nothing, not I. I need a condena, now you bit my lip. Hey, there's a customer, there's a customer. There's a customer, there's a customer. Hola. Hola. I'm Senor Hector, proprietor of Casa de Hair. I'm visiting from out of town, oh. and the concierge at the hotel directed me to the Vidal Sassoon next door, but they have apparently burnt down. Mm. <laughs> Tita, check the appointment book, por favor. You don't have no appointment book. Are you the man? <laughs> oh, Madonna, just cancel, Hector. You're free. Oh, follow me, senorita. Cha cha, baby. <laughs> Siéntate, mi princesa. Oh, oh, why? Concha, the lady was like a manicure. So, are you married, senorita? Well, oh, my goodness. Aren't <laughs> you something? As a matter of fact, I am senior Hector. Let me ask you a question. What will you do if you found your worthless husband alone in the bathroom with a strange woman? Oh, I'm afraid I would just kick his little behind. Oh, Ow. What if he was only there trying to fix the plumbing? Well, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that, I guess. Ow. Oh. But what if his plumbing is so bad that he can't even satisfy his own wife? You know, as a wife, I would find that extremely frustrating. Oh. And, oh, well, of course, maybe he wasn't doing everything he could to feel more like a man. I, what I mean is, I mean, maybe it was because his cologne smelled a little more like embalming. Oh, no, baby. I bought Hector that cologne, okay? Are you talking about my wife's taste in cologne? No, I mean, you know, I think I would just have to know a little bit more about the whole situation before rendering an opinion. Excuse me, I'm late for the call. Why don't I know? Look at that. Another valued customer has left my establishment, and it's all your fault. Ah, kiss my chuteca and die, Hector. I'm going to kill you? Oh, <laughs> Honey, I sure hope she don't take off that shoe and throw it in his head again like she did last time. It's okay, because it's so piled up, he's not even going to feel it. You know, I love you when your eyes are bulging. You make me feel so caliente when that little vein pops out of your head. Chica, take a break. I guess maybe they're not going to get a divorce after all. No, honey, if that's the case, let me get on the phone, because I got to tell Paco so he can tell Pepe, and Pepe can tell Cuca. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. Yes, amen.